how do you practice? Uh, do you organize uh, routines that you do every day, or do you practice scale theory? How do you organize that? I don't practice scales, no. Um, I did when I was a kid. Um, I just make sure I play every day now. That's the most important thing, to play every day, which is never a problem. I'm always finding time to play. Uh, for me, I'm driven now by wanting to learn very specific things. So if something pops in my head, I'm going to go sit down and work on that one thing until I got it. You know what I mean? And so I just I kind of find what times to work on those little things. But normally it's only something that popped into my head, something that made me excited. Uh, otherwise, when I'm in a rut, the best thing for me practice-wise, when I feel like I'm playing the same stuff all the time and uh, just, you know, stuck, is to uh, I learn songs. That helps me get out of a rut. Like I'll sit down and just be like, you know what? You should learn five Earth, Wind, and Fire songs today, you know, and I will. Or, you know, learn two more Beatles songs because I can never know all of them you know, or learn whatever. And that, I find that that helps me get inspired because it's like I can find one little thing from this song. First, just the joy of learning a song, you know, that you probably love already. And then, you know, there's always going to be one little thing. It'll be a chord relationship. Why did they go from this chord to this chord? And you'll go, wow, that's genius, you know? And, you know, it'll, it'll get me inspired. Um, the other thing is, the other half of practice besides inspiration and learning new things is um, the muscle memory and the reflexes and the strength and all that. That's for me is, is paramount to play every day because I use really, really heavy strings. And if I take off even a few days, my fingers hurt when I come back to the guitar. So it almost forces me to play every day for a period of time to keep up my calluses. You know what I mean? And, uh, so that, that drives some of my practice. But no, I don't ever have a set routine. Um, something will just get me excited. And for me, I'll try to learn it as fast as I can and take it on stage as fast as I can. That That is also key to me, to getting something to be part of your vocabulary. So when I learn a new idea, I'll immediately go on stage if I have a gig that night and play it 100 times and probably fail and make some mistakes. But that way, I'll quickly get it under my fingers. Like, recently, I learned this Peter Bernstein lick, who's a jazz guitar player from New York. And it was just a cool lick that involved a lot of flatted fifths, which is the blue note. And he just played something like uh, in G. He went. Right? Really cool lick. Just a lot of flat fives. So I heard that lick, I probably played it 20 times that night on the gig after I learned that lick, you know? But now, now I'll probably play some of those ideas tonight, but I will not play that lick, you know what I mean? So uh, that, that helped me quickly get that kind of idea under my finger. So that, that's another way that I kind of learn new things is I force myself to immediately take them on stage. Um, and it's lucky that I, I play a lot of gigs, so I'm able to do that. Also, I'm never worried about, I don't care if I make, make mistakes or mess up or anything. I used to be really, really anal about, oh, man, if I make one mistake tonight, I'm, it's going to ruin my night. I'm not that way anymore. I'm more interested in pushing myself all the time to learn new things. Uh, that's what keeps me kind of doing this. I, I just, I'm like you guys, I'm totally obsessed with this. Like, it's every, other than my family, this is every minute of my life, you know what I mean? It's gone into this. You know, I didn't, I was good in school, but I didn't go to college. I didn't, I didn't have any backup plan. I didn't have anything else I wanted to do other than figure out a way to do this for the rest of my life. And uh, sometimes I think that's the only way you're able to do this for the rest of your life is if you leave yourself no option, you know? My grandparents were petrified when I told them I was not going to go to college. They were so angry with me, and I had to explain to them, like, listen, I'm just not made out for that. I, there's no job I'm going to ever want to do, you know. It's just not going to work. And, you know, luckily I haven't ended up on the street yet. <laughs> I've been okay, you know. <laughs>